So for this video, I thought I'd do something a little different. Uh, as you may or may not know, I have been dabbling in mixed media and art journaling, actually doing a little bit more than dabbling. I've really been immersing myself in the whole process. And I thought I'd share with you some of the source materials that I've picked up along the way that I have found very helpful. So this is sort of a book review, basically. So I want to start off with uh, ones by a couple of uh, art journal, um, mixed media gurus in the industry. And one is uh, Deanne uh, Reevely, which you've probably heard of in conjunction with Ranger products and scrapbooking and uh, mixed media paints and things like that. Uh, her line is Delusions. And she has this book uh, called Distinctly Delusional. And this is a very small little book, as you can see, but she's got a lot of stuff in about getting started with art journaling, which I find very, very helpful. Plus, it's a, a quick book to get through. There's not a whole lot of text going on. She's just talking about different techniques that she's used. She illustrates each technique as well, which is really, really helpful. And she has helpful suggestions for extending your art journaling. So a good jumping off point, I would say, would be this book right here. Um, another book by uh, Dina Wakely, who's also from the Ranger House of Products, I believe, is Art Journal Courage, uh, Fearless Mixed Media Techniques for Journaling Bravely. Um, one of the problems I find with uh, mixed media is, at least it was my problem when I first got started, was where do I start? And I kept looking at the blank page and I was really afraid to start uh, slopping down some things because it might uh, turn out bad. Well, this book helped give me the confidence uh, in doing mixed media because basically the philosophy in here is there's no such thing as making a mistake. It's whatever grabs you. Now, the one thing though about her style, which is very nice, but I can't do is she likes to do a lot of figure uh, drawing. And although she talks about how to do this, if you're not a, a figure drawing person, I find that still a little bit intimidating. But again, a great book uh, for the money. I picked up this book uh, because it had basically had a CD in it. Um, it's called The Art Journal Workshop. DVD includes time-lapse video of projects being created. Um, this book, I got it some time ago, and to be honest, I don't really remember what it was all about. It talks, of course, about the tools you should use and things like that. And it's got some ideas and some prompts uh, to help you along the way. Uh, the DVD itself, I was a little disappointed in. I didn't really find that uh, added much more to the book itself. Although the pictures are really nice. And again, it's not a whole lot of text. It shows you how to do certain things. So it's great for idea generation and a jumping off point. Uh, another one by Dina Wakely is Art Journal Freedom. I really do like her books. Uh, in this one, she talks about the various products and how to use them. And she talks about color theory as well. So this book gets into a little bit more detail than the first book I showed you by her. Um, it's much more descriptive, talks about the philosophy and the techniques behind her style. Again, this might be a good book for you once you've got into doing some mixed media and art journaling. Journal Fodder 365, Daily Doses of Inspiration for the Art Attic. Okay, again, this is ideas. I wouldn't recommend reading this book from cover to cover uh, in that order. Just go through and pick out what you like. Um, if we take a look here. Uh, in the chapter, she talked about personal mythologies and histories. Where have I been and how did I get here? So there's a little bit more philosophy behind the whole therapeutic aspects, I suppose, of art journaling. But again, um, it's got a lot of great ideas and the pictures themselves as well, I find very uh, inspiring. Um, again, this may not be the type of book you want to pick up as a ranked beginner. But later on, as you get more comfortable with art journaling, this one might be of great help. Now, these books are all specifically about art journaling. But then you can find other books, or I have found other books, that springboard into other areas that can be incorporated into your art journaling. This book, Creative Foundations, 40 Scrapbook and Multimedia Techniques to Build Your Artistic Toolbox, is a pretty good book if you're a scrapbooker and you want to add a new dimension to your scrapbook pages using mixed media techniques. So this book takes you through 
um, a lot of different things here. Uh, a lot of techniques like using bubble wrap, crayon resist, gel medium resist, magazine collage, that kind of thing, embossing resist, varnished metal, etc. So this is really a book about techniques. And there's lots of pictures again for inspiration. Um, and it, if, if you're not quite uh, willing to get right into art journaling, uh, maybe using your scrapbooking uh, layouts or your scrapbooking techniques as a jumping off point would be helpful. And this is a good book for that. Uh, it's by Vicki Boutin, B-O-U-T-I-N. Another one, again, this one's a little bit more advanced. It's called Surface Treatment Workshop, Explore 45 Mixed Media Techniques. So we have a whole lot of techniques happening in this book. Again, detailed descriptions. Uh, really, this book, you'll notice I've got a lot of page marked in here because these are techniques I want to try. And the beauty of this book is you probably have most of the materials that are mentioned in this book already. So, you know, this maybe some of the things you haven't used in quite a while. This will inspire you to use them. So that one's by Darlene Olivia McElroy and Sandra Duran Wilson, Surface Treatment Workshop. Another one for those of you that want to explore more into the actual paint as, as a mixed media uh, technique, Acrylic Solutions is good for that. This book is by Chris Cousin and Julie Pritchard. And basically they talk about using paints and different techniques with paints. But they also talk about structuring, they talk about color theory, uh, that kind of thing. So again, this is not a beginner's book. This is unless you've already got some background in painting. Um, and if you do have background in painting, you might find this uh, helpful. And if you want to learn more about using paint in your mixed media, this book would be helpful for that as well. 101 Mixed Media Techniques. It says master the fundamentals. Again, this goes through all the products that you may already have or products you've heard about and how to use them. It's pretty much got one idea per page, which I found very helpful. And uh, you can basically go through this book in any order that you wish. Section on stamping, for example, stamping with acrylic paint, stamping with natural objects. They give illustrations. They give a brief uh, explanation of how to do it. And I found this very helpful for using things I already have that I've kind of forgotten about. The Mixed Media Handbook, Exploring Materials and Techniques by Kimberly Santiago. Again, this is another book that I found very helpful uh, for using different materials. Um, where it begins, commitment, getting it done, which involves mixed media tools, commitment with adhesives, tapes, and mediums, embellish it, paper, photographs, and other collage resources, Out, outside the box, natural material, materials, sorry, building supplies and household items, etc. So again, this is a book that uh, goes through. It doesn't really necessarily talk specifically about uh, art journaling, but it does talk about tech, uh, using certain things for mixed media. Now, to go beyond these kind of things, but other elements that may or may not be used in mixed media, most of these things can be used in mixed media, there's the whole craze with zentangling and doodling. And I got this book, Doodles Unleashed, Mixed Media Techniques for Doodling and Mark Making and Lettering. Personally, I don't do a lot of doodling. Um, I haven't felt very comfortable with doodling. But if you are a doodler, this might give you some structure here. It may give you some ideas you hadn't thought of. I do like collage, though. Um, and collage is one of the ground roots of mixed media. So this book, New Creative Collage Techniques, How to Make Original Art Using Paper, Color, and Texture. It's got over 60 projects from 60 artists by Nita uh, Lalanne, if I'm saying that right. And this book I found very inspiring for ideas. Um, it's got a lot of pictures, talks about a lot of different uh, techniques for collaging. And although you might not want to follow these step by step, it gives you a lot of really great ideas I found. And it's, it's very inspiring and it's at all levels. Um, it starts with beginner right up to the more advanced. As you can see, that's a collage uh, page, but it creates a figure. In my way of thinking, that's very, very artistic, and I really don't think I'm at that level that I can actually do that if I ever get to that level. I'm not a portrait 
uh, artists. Well, I'm not a painter. But all kinds of things. And it talks, too, about um, structure. Um, it talks about color theory, things like that. So, again, if you're into collage and you want to do more than just lay down, cut up pieces of paper or magazine pictures, this book might be the one for you. Now we're moving into the books that are more about the philosophy and therapeutic uh, aspects of art journaling. Um, and I have to admit, I, I, until I started reading these books, I never really thought about the therapeutic benefits of art journaling. But now that I've read these, uh, I've realized that unconsciously, maybe that's why I've gotten into art journaling. It actually is something that I find really lifts my spirits, um, makes me feel very happy uh, about what I'm doing. And, you know, for years, I always had this impression that I am not an artist. And these books have helped me find, I guess, what they would call the inner artist that's in all of us. It's made me a little bit more comfortable with the process and made me realize that, yes, not everything I create is a work of art and it's not museum quality. But if it makes me happy, then it's a good thing. And that's what these books talk about. The Art of Mistakes, very interesting book. It talks about the fact that there are no mistakes, just opportunities uh, for expanding your artistic horizons. Um, it's got a lot of, of great ideas, but it's more uh, inspirational than instructional, I found. Similarly, Adventures in Mixed Media Art. I just finished this book, and it talks about having projects and everything, um, but it is more about the philosophy, about using your art uh, to inspire others, to inspire yourself, that kind of thing. Um, I found that very interesting to read. Uh, it's got some worksheets and things that you can go through, but the actual um, projects in itself are a little bit too structured for my taste, like do this, do this, use this particular product, use this particular product. And although the writer uh, does say, you know, go use what you've got and that kind of thing, it is still very heavily structured into making you want to or making you use the things that the artist has used now if you're somebody who likes to follow things step by step and copy exactly uh, to get a feel for it then this is the book for you another book again this is very very therapeutic kind of thing very philosophical the creative conversation by bridget benton uh, she calls it art making is playful prayer. She's actually brought art making into the level of a conversation with yourself, um, getting into your inner thoughts. In a sense, it's almost religious. In a sense, it's it's got a lot a very spiritual uh, take to it. Um, again, if you're looking for a book that's going to give you instruction on how to do something, this is not the book for you. This is more the book about ideas behind why we art journal or why we should art journal. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about um, uh, some magazines that I found helpful. You know, like Cra Canadian Scrapbooker magazine is filled with uh, scrapbooking uh, ideas and pictures and things like that. Um, the one thing I've got against Canadian Scrapbooker magazine is it's filled with advertisements. In fact, I would say over half of it are pages filled with nothing but advertisements, which is okay if you're looking for new products or what's out there. But really, I wish they'd spent more time on talking about how things were done. They seem to list the materials that the scrapbooker has used, but they don't talk about necessarily the techniques. Now, in some cases, they do talk a little bit about the techniques, but I have thought about subscribing to it. I really admire the people who put it out. Um, I think it's a very nice, glossy magazine. It's great for, you know, the visual aspect that give you ideas. But overall, uh, personally, I, I pick it up every now and then a newsstand. I can't see myself subscribing to it, mainly because it's so filled with advertising. Anyways, I do like these magazines. They're not particularly cheap. I do not subscribe to them because I don't like every one they have. And they have a whole series. This particular series calls uh, Somerset Studio, The Art of Paper and Mixed Media. And they have a lot of visual ideas. They all also come with some paper, which um, I don't know. It, using this paper, it's very heavy. It's magazine, glossy. It's there for you to pull out and use. I've never used it. Uh, you could scan it, I suppose. 
Um, however, I have found that uh, this has does talk about techniques, but it's more the visuals in here than anything. They don't go into a great deal of detail step by step, so it's not a book for that. It's basically a book for, or magazine for inspiration, but they have some beautiful things in here um, to try. So I recommend this as well. You can subscribe to it too. So anyways, that's my take on uh, art journaling and mixed media books and magazines that I've collected. I'll continue to collect these and read them. I always learn something from them, no matter what. Uh, but I just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.